Hello my wonderful lace dancer, welcome to Lace Dance Tips, I'm Alessia. A lot of dancers ask me, can I do more ballet classes in order to improve my stamina? Can I, can I do more ballet classes to improve my technique? Can I do more ballet classes in order for me to be stronger? The answer is, you need to do very good, meticulous boosting of energy with cardio work, fitness work and conditioning. So today I've got for you ready exactly this. Away from the pure ballet class, we're gonna work on those muscles and that stamina to make your dancing even better. Working well towards your ballet goals doesn't necessarily mean that you need to work harder or way more. Sometimes it only means that you need to be on the right path and have exactly the exercises and coaching that you need to achieve those specific goals. This is why I put together programs for you to know exactly what you need to do and not randomly choose from a YouTube videos. So if you want to know more on what these deals are and what I've got in store for you even this month, why don't you join my VIP email list club and you will know exactly what program or special deals with membership I've got for the Lazy Dance Tips world. Here we go, let's start. Place one foot in front and the other one down the back. We're gonna start with a plie, plie in fourth position, which is not, it's a curtsy. So from here, I just really want you to start warming up those ankles. So we're gonna take the foot in front and then coming back down. Oh yes, and up. So we are also trying to control what our hips do because if I overdo it, it might become a little bit of a lambada style. But we are not, we are really controlling it, really sculpting those muscles because every time we take it leg in front, we really control and we take it back, yes? So that's how we sculpt our muscles. We control the muscles from the very tippy toe all the way back down, very good. And we keep on going. And the arms are brushing forward and taking a skirt back, very good. And back. And up, and back, and up, and back. And just like a beautiful ballerina, we're just gonna place it down to the other side. Very good. And again, up in front, and place it back. And point front, and back. Really stretch the knee, really engage the quads. And then come back, and forward, and back. And again, and back. Keep on breathing. And smiling, and every time you place the leg down to the back, someone is giving you a kiss. Here you go. Ah, and yes, and up. Oh, yes, very good. And up, brush the skirt, kissy. Few more, brush skirt, and up, and down. Very good. And from here, we're going to do similar, but this time we're going to go. Side, yes, very good. It feels like I'm sure my cat's gonna come around at some point with that noise. Kissy, kissy, very good. And down, and up, and down. We are really controlling that balance as well. Very good. And give me a kissy, yes, gorgeous. And out and down we change either way and again control kissy yes and down control and kissy control and kissy very good and down and down and down and down generally we're going to the other way from here we're gonna go up place it down and up place it down very good go from your elbows brushing elbows brushing and again down up down up down up and down, gorgeous. We go the way. And again. And down. The kiss is always there. Like here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Kissy. Yes. And down. 
and up, and down, up, down, up, down, few more, down, down, up, keep on floating, very good, whenever we do this, I always imagine that those long skirts, yes, you go, look at my, look at my shoes, and face it back down, yes, very good. We're going to go out into a beautiful second position. Pull up your pants if you need to, which should be the feeling that you have when you're standing. Yes, very good. So from here, arms in second. We're going to pop the heel and float to the side. And pop the heel. And very good. And breathe. And down. Breathe. And down. And again. And breathe, and breathe, and breathe. From here, stay. We're gonna go two hands floating. Float with the heel popped up there. And go. Keep on looking up there. Someone is kissing you down here. Yes. And go. Breathe, breathe. A few more. Back to center. Pop the heel. Kissy, kissy. Very good. Kiss. And go. And go. And breathe. Floating arms with a wee stretch. And a kiss. Very good. Six. Seven. And breathe. Good. Back to first, but first position, second position. Arms are going first, and we're going to go. Lift. Down lift, down lift, down lift. Very good, because many of you have asked me how to move our hands and arms. So here, the elbows are sustained. Yes, as you can see, um, I've got a balloon. Yes, holding a balloon. The line of the fingers, keep on going up and down, I'm just talking. Yes, up here, keep going. Don't look at me only, yes. Not just because I stop, you stop. Keep going, very good. So the line goes from the elbows down onto our finger. So every time it feels like we are placing it on a shelf or on a table. Yes, how are the calves? Good. And breathe. Leave them down there. This time we're gonna go from your fingertips. Don't move anything else, yeah? Fingertips, fingertips. Very good, very good. Yes, the shoulders are pushing down. Very good. From your fingertips. Don't move anything else. You've still got that balloon. Yes, very good. And remember, yes, elbows sustained. Open, slightly more, slightly more, slightly more. Very good. From here, we're gonna go up to fifth position. Oh yeah, we're gonna work this, those arms. From here, same principle. We're not moving like this. We're moving the whole arm without moving the elbows or the wrist up the top. Yes, so you rotate inside our, our shoulder. Yes, and the scapulas, you should feel that the scapula is opening just like a fan. Yeah, so yeah. And little lift with the heels, little. Just enough to find the balance. Very good. Yes. Breathe. Up. Very good. Is it on fire yet? Good. Keep going. No small houses. Big houses. You've got long arms. Yes. Very good. And breathe. And breathe. And breathe. Hold it there. Very nice. So a little game we're gonna go down and up stay up on a tippy toe we're working on that balance too and down and up down and up very good you got this and up down up down up down up last one very good coming down keep your hands where they are just a little shake very good, back to second. 
This time we're gonna go up on our tippy toes and here we're gonna go twist. Oh yeah, so, so your hips are now gonna move. Two, three, four, five, like a little doll. Six, seven, eight, come back, heels down, breathe. Lift up, other one. And we go one, two, three, don't move those hips. They're staying right in front of me. Very good. Last one, come down and up. Very good. From here, back into our curtsy. My favorite. We're gonna swan like it. Yes, and we're gonna go swan and swan and swan. Yes, so this time we're gonna go elbow wrist. Wrist elbow and up. And up, keep going, going. Yes, this is how you get those nice little muscles here. Very good. And keep on sculpting that body. Yes, very good. Like a Italian sculpture. Yes. And breathe. And we're gonna go out of the way. And go breathe. And swan. And swan. Beautiful. Have you seen how big those swan wings are? They're huge. Very good. So that's how big swan wings. And we're gonna go, yes. I'm bigger, I'm bigger, I'm bigger. Beautiful, good. Hope I gave you a little giggle as well. Shake everything just from there. Stretch your calves because we did work them like crazy even today. Beautiful. From there, grab your um, elbow, take it to the back. Nice little stretch in the main time. Yes. Oh yeah, can you feel it down here? Good. Keep pressing your head against your forearm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and press a little bit back, just a little bit, a little bit of a back bend. Still with your core engaged, yeah? If you let go of all the abdominal muscles or even the, uh, um, the, the, the muscles that sustain in the back, this happens. We don't want that. We want a nice big banana shape arch. Yes, very good. Breathe, come back, shake. Two legs, double of the fun. Moment of stretching the calf going, oh, I do have a calf. Yes, very good. Elbow all the way, reach. Press your forearm against your head and the head presses down the back a little bit more. Very good. Keep on breathing, keep on stretching. Nice little back bend. Banana shape back bend. Very good, nice and long. Don't let go of your abdominals. Yes, breathe. Come back here, shake it. Open up your arms. To the side, reaching down, shoulders opening, chin out of the water. Breathe in, breathe out, and very well done. Here we go, swan arms workout. You're so gonna hate me at the end of this but it's gonna be really good for you. And I'll tell you, it's not gonna be all nice and flowers and roses. It's good to hide a workout. A couple of things that I want to mention before we start this, it's you can do it by sitting down or standing up. Always remember the basic arms positions that you do in ballet, you will need those. Also, if you're standing up and if you can take it, try not to do this. We're doing swan arms, not chicken arms. So, we start for it with our hands to the side. Think about isolating the elbows. Don't lift the shoulders, just the elbows. And let the hands ripple with your elbows. So you're gonna go elbows up. Two, ripple. Three, you're in water. Four, flapping. They're massive. Have you ever seen swans going around? And you're gonna go up, elbows down, elbows up, elbows down, elbows up, 
down little I can tell you to do a little house up there and down again elbow two three nice and ripply four and five and six and seven and eight long neck they've got massive long necks I know that they flew once in front of my house they're huge and up Elbows, think wrist and elbows, wrist and elbows, wrist and elbows. We do one more. Two, shoulders down, three, four, and wrist, elbow, elbow, wrist, elbow, up, down, up, down, and shake. From here, we're gonna go. Same thing from second, not same thing, almost. We're gonna go, pick up a bunch of flowers, bring it up to fifth, open hands, and one, two, open hands, three, open hands, four, open hands, five, open hands, six, <gasps> seven, swan lake, eight and down from the outside one two three engage that core four five six seven eight and again this in ballet in the swan lake ballet they're called washes so we're gonna go one wash two wash three and four and five six and seven look pretty long neck and eight again wash <laughs> two and three and four and five two first six two first seven eight and down and shake Ooh, you're gonna love this one it's the scared I'm so scared we're gonna go one so this position is again your fifth position up here well it's actually a fourth position with your droopy droopy um, wrist droopy wrist up there as well but with the fingertips up so we're gonna go so we're gonna go one and two and scared and four and five and six and seven and eight again one and scared and da and there and super scared almost there almost there almost there down and rest we're gonna repeat it once again from the start so your arms in second we're gonna go one and two and three and four and two and three this is so cheesy four and up there think that you're in a lake with our swans and up and two and you're in a beautiful white tutu and up again one shoulders down long neck it hurts but you'll get used to it and up and up and up one more set and one don't do out of shoulders do elbows long neck and up and up and up and up and shake it the washes from first you're gonna go one wash two and three T uh, four look on one side or the other pop your boobies out they're good. not your ribs just your boobies out there and princess coming Again. And reverse. Oh. Reverse. 
sit. And up, and up, and up. Elbows out, elbows out, elbows out, elbows out, and wash. And open. You can look wherever you want, over there. And see if the prince is coming for dinner. And you open. Out and open, close, out and open. No sign of the prince. I cooked for nothing. Oh well, we'll see what else. And shake. The scary bit. And I'm scared. And two. And three. No chickens. Just once. Looking around. What happens in a lake? No parties around. Well, well, keep going. Keep flapping your wings. And we're done with this. And shake it. Mwah. Yay! <laughs> Sorry, I don't take so unlike seriously. <laughs> I just wanted to remind you that every now and then in my VIP email club, I do special deals only for the people that join. And there might be something awaiting very special for you right now. You don't want to miss out what it is. And the only way to know what the special deal is, is to sign up in the link in the description box below and join my VIP email club. Let's do this. You've got your chair ready to go. Now step away from the chair. You've got to kind of measure before you start, just moving around, that your foot is right on the edge of the chair and you can kneel all the way down. It's just to be there and to give you a bit of stability if you need to. So we start, because we are working on our knees and our stability, First thing is check the alignment. Make sure that it's nice and stable. Not like me. <laughs> Hold on to your core. You can have your hands on your hips or on the side to counterbalance. So let's work on the strength. So we're gonna start easy peasy. We go all the way down. Keep, keep checking what your knee does. And you come up, you rise up and down again check where where your toes are going and where your weight is going do not go to your big toe do not go onto your pinky make sure that your weight is right in between on the second toe again go one and up hold on to your core two keep checking and up three all the way down and up four keep your bum engaged five and up six and up seven keep it there Keep a straight line, and eight, and up, down. You change around, other foot at the back. Keep your hips squared as well. Don't get into funky positions. That is just for the dancing later. <laughs> go, 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 down, go one, and up. Two, and up, three, keep checking, and up, feel the back of your leg in your bum, four, and up, five, and up, six, and up, Seven, ooh, and up, 
eight. And up, down, shake your legs, change again. From here, go on to plie. The only thing you wanna do is lift, and two, and three. Keep straight, four, five. It's good for your ankles. It's good for your knees. Eight, eight more. Go one, squeeze down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, woo, eight. Starting to shake. I can feel that too. And again. Find a plie, hold on to your core, hips square, plie all the way, almost 90 degrees. Go one, two, three, four, hold your core, five, six, feel the quads working, eight, eight more, go one. Keep going. Two, hold your core, hold your bum. And four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Down, shake your legs, stretch your quads. Can you feel them? Can you feel stabilizing? And one more shake. Whew. Now, we're gonna sit on our left. <laughs> Better say, we're gonna find, <laughs> we're gonna judge how much space we need. So here we go, you gotta sit on the edge. Now, stand back up, okay? From here, let's start with sitting, yeah? We're gonna sit and stand up. Again, careful where your knees are going, they've got to be parallel. One thing that you can do is wrap around a TheraBand if you've got it, so you can feel the pressure. For the hardcore peeps even more, you can do it without and concentrate on what the alignment does. And again, so from here, sit down, one, stand up, two, stand up, three, four and five and six and seven and eight one more go one keep alignment two three and four feel your abs feel your bum six and seven and eight stand back up stretch your quads can you feel that working very good that's what we want Whew, shake from here same thing judge how much you need now, important thing is to keep your, your hips squared. So leg up, flex your foot, point it, don't worry about it too much. One leg, one, sit down. Now, you've got two options. You can either from here, stand up without the leg, or put it down, stand back up. So option one, one, put it down, check the alignment, stand up. Or, who's with me? From here, you lower, use your abs, use your bum, check the alignment, come back in. Well, we don't come back in, we're probably gonna keep it there. So let's do it. I'm gonna do the hard version for Anyone else that wants to do it, remember, pull your foot down, make sure that you check the alignment of the two knees, not wobbling in and out. Get ready. And 
one, two, keep your core, three, four, five, whoa, haha, -ha. six, seven, eight, up, down, change around. You still with me? Come on. There is always one side that is harder than the other. If you find, if you find that, make sure that you do one extra or two extra on the harder side. So you even out your body. Ready, go. One, hold your core. Ooh. Two, three, keep looking forward. Four, five, six, whew, seven, plant your foot on the floor, eight, up and down. Shake your legs, shake your quads, stretch them out. That was a toughy one, wasn't it? Yeah. So now, Get rid of your chair for a moment. Get back here. Step away a little bit. What you wanted to do is you step forward. Here, you step to the side again. It's a very simple exercise, but it's very easy to not know where our knees are going. So. We do on one side and then we change around on the other. So let's start, get right on the edge. <laughs> or step away from the, from the screen <laughs> just in case you're gonna hit the face. Excuse me. Yes. And go. One, alignment. Two, alignment. Put your foot on the floor. Two, alignment, three, and down, four, Woo. and five, keep your hips squared, six, Seven, and eight, hold your core, and back in. Now, move away your chair, <laughs> we go in the other side. We go, ready, and one, And two. Woo. Three, as you can see, this is my hard one. Four. Alignment. Five. Six. Seven, yes, and eight, and down, shake, shakey shake. Now, we're gonna go down on the floor. I'm gonna teach you something. It's, you gotta be really careful about doing this, but it's really good to open up the mobility of the knees if you need it. We are, so this is the position. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a stretch, but in a very awkward position. From here, you sit and you roll around. 
If you had an injury, be really careful. And be really careful if you haven't done this before. If it feels too funky, don't do it. Sit down, have a good stretch of your quads. If you're here with me, this is good to open up the front and the back of the knee. So if your quads are too tight, if the back of your leg is too tight, it's good to give room to the knee. And you just wobble around. You push down. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you stay there. You keep breathing. Gentle movement. And then from there you swap around again. From here, your tail is always in the way. From here, weird, weird position. And you sit down. Again, there is always gonna be one side that is tighter than the other. And you can stay there longer. And again, wobble around right under there right on top of your calf muscle and you stay there feel the quad relaxing feel the back of the knee relaxing keep breathing I know it's a bit weird but it's very good you'll feel nice and elongated And you relax down. You can do this whenever you're watching TV. Oh, I'll feel that. Can you feel the difference now of how much or oh, the back of the knee and the front of the knee is open, ready to work it even more? I hope you enjoy that. Mwah. All right, let's get into really opening up and stretching this body. So from here, you guys start kneeling down and then we're gonna take the right leg, putting it in front of us, very good. And find a nice stretch of the front of the body, front of the leg, yeah, very good. From here, plant the foot and just stretch the knee of the back and place it back down very good and stretch and lift it and back down very good stretch and lift it place it back down one more time stay there very good from here with the opposite arm we're going twisting opening and come back in very good and twist and open and back in very good twist and open find that the spine is really rotating and opening very good come back in from here just for a little challenge just because finding that little plank very good place your knees down come back and roll beautiful from here other leg forward other leg forward and keep it here hand planted and foot ready to take the weight and you go lift up and find that stretch place the knee back down very good and up and down very good up and down one more time up and down and this time keep it up we're gonna go up and twist and place the hand down very good and up and twist really open the chest and come back down very good up and twist come back down beautiful and twist really open find the spiral of the spine come back in plant the, the hand little plank hold stay breathe knees down and back 
out, very good. Come into the middle, facing me, very beautiful. From here, you guys, take one leg out. We're going to up and over and stretch on this side. Good. And come back in and down here. Take the leg on the other side from here and stretch up and over. And breathe and come back down, keeping the balance. So in the meantime, and up and over to the other side from here. Find that stretch, very good. And open the chest, good, slightly different. Come back in and bring it back, very good. And up and over to the other side and stretch. Stay where you are. Open the chest, come back. And come back in, very good. From here, you guys, come forward. Take one leg out to the side, knees facing up. And we're gonna go in, facing the screen and up. Very good, so you find a little massage and a little stretch, very good. And up, and twist and up and twist it's like a runner's lunge but sideways and in and out very good and come back beautiful other side so leg starts up there very good we go in and out very good finding the stretch in out in, out, come back in, beautiful. From here guys, last thing, roll down onto the back, very good. Take the knee towards you, beautiful. From here, monkey climb your hands up to the ankle, very good. Take it out to the side back in take it out to the other side finding the stretch of the IT band very good and bring it down one last other leg very good monkey climb your hands up to the ankle and we're just going to take the leg to the side very good bring it back towards you and then change a little twist not too much you still want to find the stretch back to the center keeping the hips where they are and coming back down roll gently to one side very good from here wipe wipe the wind wipers in Good, out, split, and in, straight, out, split, in, straight. Give me a little bounce, we go forward, good. And again, in, forward, breathe, breathe in. <sighs> Beautifully done. So proud of you and I want to see you put it into practice everything that you've learned in this class right here. This is the perfect technique class that you need to top up what you've just learned.